going on everybody? Welcome back to the Reptileverse. My name is Grant DeYoung. You are watching the Reptileverse and today's video we have a very long awaited video. A long... <laughs> there, better, some, better get some light. A long awaited video for me and I know it's been awaited for some of you because several of you have been asking me for when this video is going to come out and today is the day! So, what are we doing you might be asking? Well, we are going to be taking Nettle brand. That's my younger yellow anaconda. He muddied up his water and it needs to be cleaned out. So I figured, you know what? Let's upgrade him. Now, uh, James, it wasn't serious. James, the reticulated python, was in that enclosure. But this weekend, I'm going to be building his six foot enclosure. So I just moved him out temporarily so I could go ahead and do this video for this week. So, let's just get right into it, shall we? Alrighty, so this is the substrate we're going to be using. This is Reptichip. It is a compressed uh, cocoa block sort of a product. I've used several of these products in the past. Now, one of the things that I have noticed on this one, unlike some of the others, it doesn't really have instructions on how to get it to not be compressed. So. There's a couple ways that different people have you do it. Uh, both are relatively simple. They're both, both very similar. It is to fill a container with water um, and just soak this in it until it uh, aerates and decompresses. Now, some companies like, I think coconut fiber did this? No, this wasn't coconut fiber. Um, I don't remember. I'll put it on the screen somewhere. But... They say to fill it until the brick is completely submerged. And some others like uh, coconut fiber, like cocoa bricks, uh, say to fill it to about halfway full. So I'm going to try halfway at first. That should decompress it enough anyway, but if it's not going as fast and not working quite as well, I'll just add more water. So we'll just try that. Alrighty, so that is soaking right now, so I'm going to actually take you over here. And I have these really cool pieces of decoration. These are Universal Rocks decoration pieces. I have more than just this, but this is what we're going to be putting in the build. So I have this uh, smaller one that has a hole cut out of it to be like sort of a hide. I have this one that's made to be a ledge, really, I think. Uh, I don't actually remember, so... I'm just going to set it up in there and foam it into the background later because I am going to get Universal Rocks backgrounds for these enclosures. I'll be using this smaller flat rock. And this is my favorite piece that I got. This is a big water dish. It's about double the size of the one that Nettle Brand is currently in. So this is what it is. It's like a tree hollow. It's really, really cool. Uh, that's a water bowl for retic. I'm also going to throw some bits of this plant in there, as well as this one, and he has a red plant and a fern sort of a thing in his enclosure. It's not a fern, I don't know what it's supposed to be, uh, but he has another plant in his enclosure that I'm just going to incorporate into this build. I'm going to move this so I don't get it confused. But yeah, so I'm going to do that, and I'm going to show you the other substrate that I'm adding into this block, just because I think I might need a little bit more. So. I'm going to show you that right now. Sorry the lighting isn't the best in here, it's an old house. We have no overhead lighting. But this is the other substrate I will be using. It is the Zilla Jungle Mix. I've used a bunch of these Zilla products in the past. So I'm going to try and use this one. Now something I didn't realize is that this actually has peat moss in it. There you see, so that has peat moss. I don't like using products that have peat, peat moss because it's not very good for the environment to harvest peat moss. So I probably won't be using this again. I'm probably going to make my own mixture out of coconut fiber, sand, and sphagnum moss, and New Zealand tree fern. But yeah, so I'm going to try doing that. That's sort of a similar thing that I saw Snake Discovery do, just so that I don't have to use products with peat moss in it. 
just because it destroys bogs, it destroys natural habitats of other animals, like reptiles and amphibians that I love. So I don't want to be using stuff with peat moss, but since I have this now, I'm just going to use it because, I mean, if I return it, somebody else is going to use these bags anyway. So I'm just going to use these, these one time, just what I've got. And I'm not going to use it again after that. Uh, nothing against Zilla at all. I love the company. I Most of my heat domes are from Zilla. A lot of my products are. I just don't want to use something with peat moss. They do have some other substrates that don't incorporate peat moss. So I'll leave links in the description for uh, the Zilla website so you can check out what they have. They have some awesome enclosures. Definitely go check it out. But yeah, just ew, peat moss. All right, so I'm not gonna make you guys watch this process really. I need to clean out this enclosure really, really well, this mold shed. I'm gonna clean everything out. I'm gonna take out the drainage layer too because this is not a bioactive enclosure. But yeah, so I'm gonna get to it. And I'm not gonna make you guys watch me clean it out because that's a boring thing to watch. So I'm just gonna get cleaning.
there's some bonus Tegu content for you. <laughs> All right, so this is the enclosure. Like I showed you guys me building it before. Let me zoom out. Have the universal rocks. Got plenty of hides. I've got this branch up here. And one of the things I was really hoping for was that the anaconda would be out more because when he's in an enclosure uh, like that one that he was in before, he would either burrow into the cypress mulch if I had cypress in it, or he would just stay in his hide all day um, and not really be out. And this is a really pretty species, so I definitely wanted them to be viewable. Hi, bud. So after a couple of days of adjusting, because I'll admit it actually has been a couple of days, he did move. So he is out and exploring. He, right now he's under a basking light. The light is actually under the other dome, so he could be on this ledge if he wanted to to be closer. But he's just coiled up right there, so that's cool. He's probably a little bit nervous with me over here. What just... Oh, the Tegu ran... Tegu just took a run behind the water bowl. I was wondering what that noise was. Alright. But yeah, so he's probably a little bit nervous. Focus camera. With me being right here, he doesn't really trust me still. That's fine. He still eats, sleeps, basks soaks so he can do whatever he wants uh the first day that i actually came down here he was uh wedged right here i posted a short about that last week but yeah so he is acclimating well you can also see by where like the substrate is now because i cleaned all those surfaces off before i put him in here that he has been um climbing all around he's been dragging um cocoa coconut chips all over the enclosure with him and I have actually seen him um, I've seen him under that hide I've seen him under that hide there I've seen him under this rock I've seen him in the water I've seen him all over the place so he is really using uh, all the space that's provided to him and he's basking which is really cool to see so I could not be happier with how he's using the space how it's turned out So yeah, that's the anaconda update. Oh, man, you're way zoomed in on my face now. All right, so that's going to be it for this episode. If you enjoyed it in any capacity, please click the like button. Uh, it's a little bit of a shorter one, I think, but it was one that I enjoyed and I had fun doing. I need to apologize real quick. I did miss last week's upload. I don't even know what happened. I didn't realize I missed it until this week, but yeah. I promise I'll make it up to you guys. I'll uh, probably film either an extra video this week or next week and get out there. But yeah, so you can still see him a little bit over there. That is what's going on. Uh, not too long from now, these guys will be moving outside. That's pretty exciting. As many of you know, the Tegu enclosure project has been in the works for a very long time. So I'm glad that it's finally coming to fruition. All right. So be sure to subscribe, uh, turn on notifications. In the description below, you'll find a link to my Discord server, a link to the Patreon page, and a link to go support US Arc. So go follow those. I'm tired. So I'm going to go edit this, get it uploaded, and probably take a little nap because I can, because I don't work today. So. Alright, peace out YouTube.